I think you became a Disney princess now. You're happy finally. <laughs> you something? Yes. So I'm at the middle of a lake and I only have one thing to say. I don't know how to swim. We're flying. No, is it? Ah, oh, okay. Leave it, leave it here. It's fine. There you go. <laughs> Laszlo, I'm fed up with you. I need to go. I brought you a challenge, guys. Spend less than $100 or 470 ringgit in one day. We only have two objectives. The first one, you must eat at least three times, two of which has to be a proper meal, and the third one can be something lighter, a snack for example. The second objective is, you must visit at least three different places and they must charge an entry fee, so you cannot just roam around in the parks for example. Are you ready for the $100 challenge? Going to NU Central. NU Central. Yes, we will find a restaurant there. Okay. Or anything that we can eat for breakfast. Okay, brilliant. Hi guys, we just arrived here in Little India, just beside an Indian Mall. So we will find now a restaurant for our breakfast. Come. Oh. So I think this one is more on traditional food for Malay? Um, I think so, yeah. I would love to try that cinema. Yes, we can. Can we ask, uh, do you have nasi limak? Of course, we want to start the day with an amazing nasi limak. Our drink just arrived, brilliant. And the food as well, wow. I'll show you guys. So two beautiful nasi limak. So after we paid the bill, which was 25 ringgit and 85 cents, we've left over 444 ringgit and 15 cents. Okay, so we decided to go to the Butterfly Park as our first destination, and we have options. First, grab, it takes 10 minutes. Then for MRT, almost an hour, and so, by walk, 36 minutes. So you say that public transport is almost one hour, is that correct? Yes, so we will take... Wow, the grab. Let's go! Guys, we just arrived here in Butterfly Park, Kuala Lumpur. And look, so this is our remaining money for the 100 USD challenge. Which one? Which part? Uh, I don't think they're gonna land on you because they don't like you. Are you sure? Yeah, but I, I love you. I love you. <laughs> Hi. Uh. Don't show them your middle finger, they scare them away. <laughs> Don't be so rude. I think you became a Disney princess now, you happy finally? <laughs> yeah, finally! Amazing, thank you. <laughs> they are not friendly. They are friendly? No. So that, you say the frogs are not friendly? This one only. So why are they friend shaped? This is your moment of time. <laughs> Maybe I will just hold this one. Hold this? Only. Ah, okay. Leave it, leave it here. Fine. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that fly sometimes, sometimes fly, sometimes don't. Here, let's see a professional doing this. So, it seems like we just finished. Uh, touring the butterfly park. So what's the next destination is? National Planetarium. National Planetarium or Planetarium Negara. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go. Whoosh. 
Here we are, Planetarium Nagara. We finally just found a vending machine and it's actually cold. This is actually Wednesday and as you guys can tell, not a single soul other than us. The best thing about this place is the aircon. Trust me. <laughs> Yay! 100% worth it. So guys, before we go anywhere, please don't forget to leave a comment below, hit the notification bell, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done it already. Now, back to the video. I hope you can hear us because it's really windy right now. But the reason we are choosing an Indian food right now is because we want to include all the free, free ethnicities that are living in Malaysia. So we started with the Malay food. Now we have an Indian food, and then we're gonna finish a Chinese Chinese food. And whatever comes in the middle. So we ordered two um, tea ice, okay? A roti bawang, which is a sort of like a pasta dish with eggs and onion. I ordered a mee goreng. Uh, Stephanie ordered an ikan tengiri or whatever, and a biryani rice only. Hello, love. Where are we at the moment? We just arrived here in Islamic Art Museum, Malaysia. Guys, this is the largest Islamic arts museum in Southeast Asia. It was officially opened on December 12, 1998, and it has more than 7,000 Islamic artifacts inside. Come on. Official like and subscribe. Are you crazy? They're gonna kick us out from here. Oh my god, please. Go. Well, we decided to come here to Titi Wangsa Lake, and the weather turns out to be fantastic. The lake itself is completely free, however, there are some activities which they charge money for, and we are just about to explore those. <laughs> we will ride a bicycle okay. instead of a pony. Yes, how much it costs? It's 30 ringgit only an hour, so four ringgit spent. So guys, I found out the biggest secret of life. All you need to do is find a Filipino girlfriend and she's gonna ride a bicycle instead of you in the middle of Kuala Lumpur when the weather is like 35 Celsius degree and close to 100% humidity and she's gonna just ride around and show you the city. Laszlo, I'm fed up with you. I need to go. Sorry, my love. Are you leaving me now? Yeah, sorry. No, 
Sorry. Bye. Bye. So guys, this is the place. Let's see what they have. They seem to be open right now. Yamaha, Yamaha, Yamaha. Ah. Um, guys, I'm at the middle of a lake and I only have one thing to say. I don't know how to swim. Ah! Finally guys, we arrived. Uh, if you wonder where the hell are we, uh, we just came to a place called Durian Man. So we originally has not planned this location. However, we got left with a lot of money since we couldn't spend it the way we wanted. So this is the place guys, Durian Man. That's how it looks like. It's out in the streets, really airy. <laughs> I can already feel the smell of the durian, love. Are you excited? Uh, of course, I like the ambience. Oh, brilliant. By the way, guys, apologies for the bad audio quality, but we managed to drain um, the DJI microphone completely, so we cannot use this, so really sorry for that. I hope you can still enjoy the audio throughout the phone as well, yeah? Bad news. They run out of durian, they sold everything. All they have left is a frozen one for 60 ringgit for 300 grams, which is uh, unfortunately not, I cannot fit in our budget. Ooh, they have durian. Wow. Cheers, love. Bye. I look like a pig, right? <laughs> Actually, you know what? I even like it better than the first time I tried. So guys, this is my first time trying durian. It's not as bad as they say. The love, I have a theory. Should I should I tell it to you? I think he one of our subscribers. I mean the cat, right? He must be. Like that's why he approached me. Like he says. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment below and, and hit the video. notification bell. Yeah. We just arrived here in Jalan Alor. This is a famous food street here in KL Malaysia. What have you ordered? Let's reveal. Okay. So look in a uh, mushroom. Chicken with mushroom. Yeah. Okay. And we asked for fried rice with egg. Mm -hmm. And do you remember what was my order? It's some, um, I can remember it was like a beef, um, a beef steak Potato. slices or something like that. Yeah. But these are all Chinese food. Yeah, it's all Chinese food, drinks included. So now we're just waiting for the bill. The bill just came. 79. 79. Okay, let's see. How much how much money you got left? One, two, three. Five ringgit and plus change. So we can officially declare we have managed to survive Kuala Lumpur for less than a hundred dollars for the, for today, right? Well, that's it for today guys. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment below with your thoughts. Until next time, bye bye. It's a, poor, it's just a coincidence that we managed to sit down next to a fish tank. This is it. We got clams, all kinds of crabs. Well, this one not looking too happy to be honest with you guys. Check this out. 
A prisoner has escaped.